lovely man. The point of the game seemed to be eluding you. The point of the game is to score more runs than the other team, especially when the women. In no way they were all women. We should, we, we should give them hormone tests. The point of the game is to enjoy yourself. Is that what you were doing? I was one for five, we lost, and I had my wrist sprained by their six-foot Belarusian shortstop. What do you think? I think you provoked her. I was telling her to keep her spikes down. It's not my fault she can't speak English. It's lucky I was there to pitch swing for you. Pinch it. And I certainly enjoyed getting that... What did you call it? Grand Slam. Your wrist should hurt for several more days. Perhaps the chocolate donut will take your mind off of it. Yeah, hit me. Hey, Bobby. I hear you played some high-tension baseball this morning. Hey, I can act however I want on my day off. I need to talk to you about your days off. Step this way. Thank you for purchasing a delicious and nutritious donut on a Are you all right? I must have burned you. That's all right. I didn't find it all that hot. It's not enough that I'm falling apart. I have to spread the damage around, too. I can't seem to get anything right today. It's like... Do you need help? No. You need a vacation. I hate vacations. You work too hard. Yeah, look who's working on Saturday afternoon. Well, we all put in overtime, but I also take off a month every year. Yeah, I always wondered where you went. Sky surfing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You haven't really lived till you've jumped from two miles up with three yards of fiberglass strapped to your feet. When was your last vacation, Bobby? I don't know. Last summer, maybe? Try three years ago. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like to make a spectacle of myself unless I'm getting paid for it. Well, thanks. I don't want to take up any more of your day. Well, that's all right. I have time. If you're upset, I'd be happy to listen. Really? You're showing the strain, Bobby. You're irascible, stressed, and uncooperative. You're taking a vacation. Last year, a guy killed my sister. Now he's gonna kill me. Take some time off, Bobby. Rest that broken wing. Go fishing. It's not broken, it's sprained. Besides, there hasn't been any good-sized fish around here in years. There are plenty in the tribal lands. Do I look like I qualify? Iron Tree does. And I hear he's open for fly fishing partners. Talk to him, detective, before I have to send your stress test down to Central. Iron Tree. So then she meets this guy, Philip Curvers. He's a disc weasel. A weasel? I told her she had to get out of it. Eventually she did, but... Then weird things started to happen. What kind of things? Well, he kept sending her these roses. Black roses. It creeped her. What did she do? Well, she got scared. And then she got more scared. I kept telling her she had to go to the police, but she wouldn't go, and just when she was about to go, she disappeared. How long ago was that? A year ago. I know, he killed her. Perhaps she simply left to avoid a stressful situation. Uh -huh. Do you have a sister? No, I don't. You know when something's wrong. Especially when the same thing starts happening to you. I appreciate you coming with me. I know you don't believe in this case. It's not a case yet. A case needs evidence. Well, perhaps we'll find some. The investigating team checked out this guy, Curvis. No priors, no outstandings. He claims to be 600 miles away when the mannequin turns up in your friend's room. So why are you here? As long as I have something on the go, Claghorn can't send me to the trout stream.
Mr. Kerbert. Hello. Sorry for the wait. I managed to clear some time. We appreciate it. We're right in the middle of a huge launch, the Brain Woman disc. Heard it? Uh, I stopped listening when rap hit. <laughs> it's safe to start again. Chanting doesn't count as rap, does it? It's me. Have a seat. Please. We'd like to talk to you about Louise Trotsky. So you said. I never thought that one little phone call could bring you guys down my neck. You called her. Obviously, she told you about Sharon. Gorgeous girl. Sweet, trusting, kind of unpredictable. You ever send her roses? Of course. Black ones? No. Why would I do that? What happened when you last saw Sharon? She was on her way to Louise's. She wanted to patch things up between them. Well, what do you think happened to her? I think that perhaps she couldn't choose between me and Louise. And so she ran away. To where? Moscow, Melbourne, Sydney, Saigon, Santa Fe. I don't know. I just hope it was someplace where they could take care of her. Take care of her? Well, she's kind of fragile. Unstable, really. She's been under care a couple of times. But Louise has got it much worse. She really has no touch with reality at all. She's been in and out of hospitals almost all her life. Killer look. I look like a killer? No, the outfit is totally Jetson's. Oh, thank you. We need to talk. Well, step into my parlor. Welcome to the soft white underbelly of the business. It's very depressing. So, what's happening? I went to talk to Philip Curvers. What did he say? He said you've undergone treatment for mental disorders. <laughs> well, okay, I guess that clinches it. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't say I believed him. You didn't? He gave us information in a controlled pattern. One topic led to the next. He's very... He's a control freak. Classical behavior analysis shows that an innocent person has no informational agenda. Philip Kerbers clearly has one. I told you. He killed her. Eve. Listen. You're the first person I've ever met that I think could help me find the truth. <gasps> oh, I think we're going to be great friends. Please believe in me. It's a gift. I thought you could use it on your fishing excursion. Tell Captain Claghorn, nice try, but I'm not going on any excursions. Mind you, I may not have an excuse not to. This case is evaporating. Curvers was in Vegas Friday night. He couldn't have put the mannequin in the room. He could have had someone do it for him. That multiplies the entities, and you're always telling me not to do that. Besides, there's this. Louise checked herself into the county for emotional problems a few months ago. There's more specifically a persecution complex. Her file says diagnosis was never confirmed. Eve, listen. If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. I fail to see what ducks have to do with it. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta get changed. Shouldn't I wait here? No, I might need advice. This set could take me to the small time. I gotta look my best. Excuse me. 